Hello folks, this is Phil Jim's Motors in Cuba, Missouri. What we're going to do today, we're going to do a how to use my new SMC trailer. <clears throat> I've got one on my channel that uh, goes over a bison. Now we're going to do a SMC. A lot of the stuff's the same. There's a few things located in a different spot, but on this particular SMC here, you got your sewage holding tank and wastewater holding tank. And again, the wastewater is your shower water, sink water, sewage is your solids. So, you'll hook your hose up right there and your hose is located underneath the neck of the trailer. And you always wanna dump your sewage first. When it's done dumping, push in the lever for it, which is right there. Pull out your wastewater holding tank lever. That way it washes the sewage out of the hose. Power. It's right above the tanks. Plug it in, screw this little collar down, you're good to go. City water connection. What your city water is, is if you're going to a campground and they've got water, pressurized water available to each site, you hook your hose up to that. Now, if you're gonna be primitive camping or gonna be camping in a, uh, a campground that does not have pressurized water, that's when you'll fill your fresh water tank up. Put your hose in there, put about half throttle, fill it up, and then you'll have to use your water pump on the inside, which I'll go over that here in a little bit. Your sewer hose, it's right above your legs in that black tube. Each end comes off. Propane tanks, see that deal in the center? Most people think when they're like that, it'll draw off both tanks, it will not. There's an indicator right there, so you wanna switch it to whatever side you're gonna use. Turn it counterclockwise to turn it on and clockwise to turn it off. And here will be your battery box. You'll have a light to help you hook and unhook above, directly above your tanks. All the SMCs got these cables on it where you just lift that up, set it down on the ball, let loose of it, and it's latched. That's all you have to do. Most of your SMCs has got a smart awning on them. What that means is you can control it from the inside or the out. What you'll do is you'll press and hold unlock till the light shines, and then you're ready to run it in, run it out. And you press this twice, it'll light up auto. That means it'll go in automatically when the rain or the wind hits it. One more thing on the outside. On the SMCs, all their master cutoff switches is right here alongside the battery box. You should have your switch on anytime you're pulling it or using it. And I suggest that if wherever you're gonna store your trailer, if it has power, Always leave it plugged up and on, that way your battery is constantly keeping a charge via the onboard tender. Your battery lasts you a lot longer if you do so. But you can turn it off when you're not using it and you ain't got no power, you just go ahead and turn it off if you ain't got power available. On your SMCs, on most models, the controls are next to the entry door. Press your button for battery. It's gonna show you your battery life. I've got it plugged in, so it's gonna show full charged. Press that for fresh. A little bit in there. Empty on black. A little bit in the gray. Hot water heater. That's this switch right here. Just turn it on, it lights itself. Water pump. The only time you use the water pump is if you're gonna to have to take bring water up out of your fresh water tank that you filled up at home. Now, if you're hooked to pressurized water at the campground, you do not have to use the pump. It, uh, it will uh, bypass it automatically. There's nothing you gotta do there. All right, there's a pump. Convection microwave, works just like the one at home. You can bake biscuits in it. It's got preset buttons for everything. You shouldn't have to light nothing in the trailer. Uh, everything lights itself or will relight itself if it goes out. Thermostat, works a lot like the ones at home. 
see if I can do this and let it focus press it till you get the mode you want it's auto see the snowflake that means cool a little heat wave with the furnace means you're a propane furnace and if it's equipped it'll have the heat strip mode as well your bathroom you got a foot flush toilet other than that it works the same max air fan you could this fans designed to pull air out or push air in either one you can adjust the speed right here and it's also got a sensor on it so if it's raining while you're gone it automatically close again folks uh i've got a video up on how to use your new bison this particular video as you know is a how to use your smc my cell phone number would be in the description below call or text me anytime if you get out somewhere get set up and you have an issue if i can't help you i'll find somebody that can it don't matter if you bought your trailer from me or not just go ahead and get a hold of me i'm here to help Again, this is Phil from Jim's Motors in Cuba, Missouri. Thank you and have a good day.